Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how to use no-knead dough and the principles of a Dutch oven to make sandwich bread. Like this, and it's perfect for sandwiches. You'll get a kick out of this video. It's unconventional. It's silly, but who cares because the technique is so good that it has become our standard for making sandwich bread. Come, join the Thinking Outside of the Box Artisan Bread Bakers Club and give this recipe a try. You'll love it. I'll be using 12 ounces of warm water, one and one half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon instant yeast, and three cups bread flour. Let's get started. I always use a warm bowl so that I don't take the heat out of my warm water. 12 ounces warm water. One teaspoon instant yeast. One and a half teaspoon salt. And I'll give it a quick stir to combine. Three cups bread flour. I'm going to drop it on the side there so it doesn't splash. And then I'll add to the end. And that's three. I'm going to use the handle end of a spoon to combine it. All you want to do is introduce the water to the flour and it'll start to form a shaggy ball. Did you see how easy that was? It's coming together. Now at this point you want to get the flour off the sides. So I'll scrape the sides. And I'll tumble the dough to bring the moist flour from the bottom and combine it with the dry on the top. And that's how easy it is. That is how easy it is to make dough. The only thing I need to do now is cover it with plastic wrap. And it's ready to proof. It's a beautiful summer day, so I put the dough in direct sunlight to proof. The ideal temperature for proofing is 78 to 85 degrees, but the typical home is 68 to 72 degrees. So, on warm summer days, I proof in direct sunlight. In the winter, I use the oven light method for proofing. Turn the oven light on, put the dough in the oven, close the door, and the oven light will warm the oven to a little over 80 degrees, which will give me a warm, draft-free environment for proofing. In other words, I adjust my proofing method to Mother Nature, because she won't adjust to me. Turbo dough should be proof for one hour and 30 minutes in a warm, draft-free environment. It's been an hour and 30 minutes. It's time to make the bread. As you can see, the dough has risen and more than doubled in size. I'm going to start by spraying the pans with nose stick spray. That'll be the bottom pan. The top pan, I just need to spray the lip. It's set to go. The next step is to degas, pull, and stretch. Watch, this is a lot like a dough hook. It just brings the dough together and punches it down. I'm going to scrape the dough off the sides. Now I'm going to use a process called roll to coat. I'm going to dust the dough ball with flour. Going to take the dough, roll it in the flour, and it coats the outside. Okay, I put it off to the side, take the bottom one, just roll it out and in, take the top one, put it on top, use the binder clips to hold it. And there you are, a poor man's Dutch oven. It's ready to proof. No need turbo dough should be proofed for 30 minutes and the oven should be preheated to 400 degrees. It's been 30 minutes and the oven has come to temperature. 
I placed the poor man's Dutch oven in the oven and set the timer for 35 minutes. It's been 35 minutes. I took it out of the oven, removed the top, and put it back in the oven for 5 to 10 minutes to finish the crust. I baked it for 35 minutes with the top on and 5 to 10 minutes with the top off. The bread is ready. Well, what do you think? The poor man's Dutch oven did an excellent job of shaping the loaf and it will be wonderful for sandwiches. Bread making is this easy. My dear friends, I am a very results-oriented person. My videos and cookbooks reflect my philosophy and technique. Go to noneedbreadcentral.com. It provides a quick and easy access to a wide variety of no-need bread videos and cookbooks. Thanks for watching.